Hi, I'm Marie Planchard from SolidWorks, and today we're going to talk about a cantilever beam. A cantilever beam is fixed at one end. A load, either shear or moment, is applied at another. You can also have distributed forces along a cantilever beam. Today, we're going to look at this classic problem and analyze beam deflection from a shear force and also from a moment in SOLIDWORKS. Beam deflection depends upon the length of the beam, the cross-sectional area, how the beam is oriented, the load applied, and the modulus of elasticity based upon the material conditions. Let's see how we'll analyze this cantilever beam in SOLIDWORKS. First, inside of SOLIDWORKS Education Edition, you need to turn on SOLIDWORKS Simulation. SOLIDWORKS Simulation contains the FEA tools for stress, thermal, drop, frequency, and vibration, and nonlinear analysis. Select Tools. At the bottom, select Add-ins. Check the SOLIDWORKS Simulation box. Once that happens, Simulation will appear as a tab in your top menu bar. Underneath Help, you will see SOLIDWORKS Simulation Tutorials. These are different than the SOLIDWORKS Tutorials. Select on Validation. Underneath Validation, there are two types, Verification Problems and NAFEMS Benchmarks. These are both theoretical in nature and provide analytical solutions. Let's take a look inside of Verification Problems Select on Static. Select on Bending of a Solid Beam. First, you will receive a description of the problem. This problem involves a 10-inch long cantilever beam with a rectangular cross-section of 1 by 2. You are asked to find the deflection, considering a 200-inch pound moment or a 300 pound shear force applied to the end of the beam. Select on the Click Here icon to open up the part. This part was created in SOLIDWORKS with a simple extrude feature. The example presents to you the theoretical displacement in the Y direction and also looks at a solid mesh and a beam mesh. These are different types of meshes that you can create in SOLIDWORKS. The material property is 3 times 10 to the 7th PSI. Let's take a look at how to do this problem in SOLIDWORKS. At the bottom of the graphics window, you will see four tabs to indicate how the problem was set up. Select on the Force Solid tab. Right-click on the Boundary Condition and select Edit Definition. Here, you will see how the fixture was applied to the left narrow face. There is fixed geometry, roller slider, and fixed hinge. Under External Forces, edit the definition. Here you will see how a force is applied at the end of the beam to indicate shear. In this case we use pounds force, but you can also change the units to newton meters. On the Mesh button, right-click Run and Mesh. The mesh is created and the results are produced. By default, you will see von Mises stress. If you select on displacement, you will see displacement and strain. Your units may be set up to display displacement in millimeters. I've displayed in inches by right-click, edit definition, and change the units from millimeters to inches. This corresponds to how the problem was presented. I have here a 5,000th deflection, which is similar to the theoretical value. There is a discrepancy in the fourth decimal place. You should always use best practices in determining your finite element solution. You will see additional tabs along the bottom for solid mesh and beam mesh. With large aspect ratios, it may be necessary to use a beam mesh versus a solid mesh. 